This week, we celebrate Holy Week. Thank you to all of the staff that have helped prepare students for this holiest week in the liturgical calendar. It has been amazing to see that even during the pandemic, there were so many Lenten projects to support others, including funds for Chalice Canada to sponsor children and elders in developing countries, clothing for homeless, donations to food banks, donations to Shepherds of Good Hope, Shauna's Outreach, Adam's Dream, Cattery Native Ministry, and many, many other school and department selected charities. With the end of Lent, we move to the celebration and the resurrection of Jesus on Easter. Throughout our schools, preparations have included passion plays, praying in color, stations of the cross, walks with Jesus, and amazing artwork. I hope that this weekend, you and your family are able to continue any traditions that you may practice, including church services, whether they be in person or virtual, and other traditions like Easter egg hunts and the painting of Easter eggs. I also want to thank all of you for your support of Ukraine through awareness, prayer, and donations. Living in Canada, we enjoy so many privileges, and as a Catholic community, we continue to pray for peace and an end to atrocities that are taking the lives of innocent citizens. As a board, we have offered our support to any Ukrainian refugee that comes to Ottawa, knowing that they will be welcomed in any of our schools. While we recognize this sacred time of year, we are also once again faced with the realities of educating during the pandemic. You are well aware that since the lifting of most restrictions, we are seeing a spread of COVID throughout the city of Ottawa. Our schools are not immune to this spread, and we are seeing many students and staff become ill with COVID. Dr. Etches reminds us that during this time of choice, you are encouraged to wear a mask, get the latest vaccination, and continue other measures like washing your hands and staying home when sick. Thank you to our principals, vice principals, and office administrators who are scrambling every day to try and find creative ways to cover classes and support students when a qualified replacement cannot be found. We are at the point where we are closing some classes despite the incredible efforts of our staff to cover classes for ill colleagues when a replacement cannot be found. As we have done over the last two years, we will collectively do our best. That's all we can ask of one another. I wish you and your family a blessed and happy Easter.